welcome to the uh, launch of our 2009 Organic Market Report. I'm Peter Melchard, I'm the Policy Director of the Soil Association. I'm going to run through a few of the headlines fairly quickly. Uh, organic sales up in 2008 by 1.7%. There are some underlying strengths to our market, 90% high sales now buying organic. Uh, we've looked at why people buy organic food, and the story is pretty consistent over the years. There's a wide range of reasons. Quality and taste always comes first, but then a range of other benefits to organic. No GM, no pesticides, fewer artificial additives and colorings, uh, wanting to know where food comes from, location, some connection with the farmer, fair prices for farmers and uh, um, uh, farm workers. But we have a core of very committed organic consumers who are responsible overall for about 80% of organic sales. And when we asked them what their expectations were for this year, surprisingly, to me anyhow, they were more optimistic than I would have been. 36% expecting to spend more on organic food this year and only 15% expecting to spend less. Now, whether those expectations will translate into sales, we'll have to tell you this time next year. Now around 4% of the UK is farmed organically. Um, grassland up, arable up by about 4% each. Uh, we saw particularly strong growth um, in terms of the land area in Wales and in England. Um, Northern Ireland held uh, with a, about a 3% rise and in Scotland the land area was down by about 8% as some farmers came out of uh, environmental schemes. In nearly half the world's organic farmers, over half a, half a billion, half, yes, half a million uh, organic uh, farmers are in Africa, um, farming only about 0.1% uh, of the organic land. And I think the message from this is that, is, is that those, uh, organic farming is so relevant in the developing world in terms of improving soil husbandry, improving drought resistance. Uh, more and more policymakers are recognizing that now that organic techniques are going to be crucial for feeding the world. And this band of uh, farmers in Africa are um, very much at the sharp end of helping to make that happen. I was, I was just going to say, adding to what others have said about um, opportunities for people to try organic products, I think it's not only about promotions, but it's also about where you make organic food available. And Peter mentioned that in, in some cases Tesco may have been taking it out of the stores, and then that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, because it's less available, uh, and so that makes life more difficult for people. And I think it's very notable, speaking to Asda, about their growth in the past year, that they've followed suit with what Tesco, Waitrose and Sainsbury's have done before them which is they've stopped putting organic fresh produce in a ghetto, in a separate section. They've mixed it in with the uh, non-organic fresh produce. <coughs> and they said to me that when they did that in the spring, their sales of organic produce tripled overnight. So thank you for today. I found actually the overall report was rather really positive, really, that organic is staying really strong. Mm. And although that we said at credit crunch times and everything, that organic growth is still there, especially in new sectors like yeah. the textile markets mm. and health and beauty, and that the loyal organic base is, is still very firm, isn't it? It is. I think that probably is the most significant thing, that we've got this group of consumers who buy about 80% of all the organic products sold and they have a very sophisticated understanding of the whole range of benefits that organic delivers, from animal welfare to more wildlife, the absence of GM and pesticides and routine antibiotic use, artificial life and so on. And that group, not only remaining loyal, but actually expecting to spend more, despite all this terrible economic gloom and doom. So, yes, I think we should be optimistic about the future. So here we are um, on an early Monday morning at Acorn House, one of London's only true um, organic restaurants. We're here for the Soil Association 2009 Organic Market Report, and overall I thought it was really positive that organic is staying really strong and that there's a real loyal 
consumer base here in the United Kingdom. And I think that can only grow because organic is so important, not just towards your well-being, but really for the future of the planet. So um, we had some interesting feedback um, and heard some really interesting stories. Still interested to see that there are media here really looking for the negative, really wanting to know the downturn of sales. Um, and um, that just upsets me because I think the media should really support the organic industry and not just focus on... Um, profit of organic but really just try and support it because it's so fundamental to the future of our life here on the planet so thank you very much